Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. I know I'm back. I have to go MIA yesterday because the food coma was on another level. Okay, like Thanksgiving was amazing, but like, girl, I ate so much, and yesterday was like, like leftover day. Like my body, my stomach, my soul was like done. You know, I was like. Mm -mm, this is it and you know like you know how thanksgiving is you know your shift is doesn't oh like it's not over just because you cook food and you host dinner no you have to clean the damn house after everyone left you know leaves so it got, i'm like mm, i was exhausted i am extremely tired but now we are back we are here okay and we are ready to spill the tea so if you are new here welcome to the verbally troop where we are having Tea parties every single day, all the time. I spill the tea about the Bravo verse, pop culture, Royal Avenues, you name it. I got you. So if you are new here, subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell. Okay. All right. So it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. I already watched the last episode. I am not going to be doing the full recap here. That is going to be another video. But, um, we needed to talk a little bit about the uh, Dorit Kemsley, okay? Because Dorit Kemsley is being accused right now of faking her PTSD, okay? So let's take it little by little. Um, first of all, after the robbery, right, last year, um, Dorit has been very vocal into telling the world that she is suffering from 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 PTSD, that she is, you know, um, that it was a very traumatic, traumatic experience that she lived, you know? Now, when it comes to PTSD, I kind of like, I am hoping that this is not something that she is making up, you know, because I know how hard can it be. Um, I, ha I, I have a little bit of PTSD that I still suffer from something that happened to me when I was a kid. Uh, my, my family and my sister, their home, our home got, you know, invade also when she was a kid, I think she was like six years old at the time. And she still suffered from PTSD right now. And she's 23 years old, you know? So I know it could be traumatic. I know how serious it could be. And I know the repercussions of like going through something very traumatic. So the, to even think that someone could go so low into, Faking this, it could get like a little bit. I mean, you know, it could be a little bit serious, right? Um, going through an experience like a breaking with armed guys, you know, and your kids at home, and you are by yourself, you know, it could be very bad. You know, it could really do things, you know. But you start working on it. Uh, Eventually, hopefully, you get over it, but there will always be those little things here and there. Um, however, Dorit is being accused by the fans of not believing that, there, that her PTSD is real, you know. First of all, we, we saw, you know, the little scene. I think it was on the trailer. I think it hasn't happened yet on the show about how not even PK actually believes Dorit's PTSD, you know. Like when, when he says something like, like, I understand parts of the PTSD, but I found another one to be a little bit more obnoxious. I think there is a, a psychological component, you know, when you go through traumatic experiences and how you deal with them, you know. And I do believe that if you are the kind of person who is a little bit narcissistic or who are, you know, like, likes to be like at the center stage, you know, or that like things need to be about you, then you will take advantage of that PTSD a little bit more, right? Because eventually, especially when you go to a therapist, like Dorit has been doing it, you know, eventually you learn not only to control it, but to recognize the triggers, you know? So you know, like, if, like I would tell you, like my sister and stuff, you know, like you know the things around you that could trigger you or, or you even understand the feeling when you're about to get triggered by something, you know? So that's how you start, like, learning to, like, really control, like, your PTSD, right? 
and she has been doing the work. So maybe there is a possibility where, you know, she's like, okay, I, I suffer from this PTSD, you know, why not capitalize on it, you know, and it just exaggerated a little bit just for the camera. So a lot of this is coming from the last episode, you know, because the Reed is doing this huge fuss about Garcelle not telling her that this was not going to be an intimate screening, that this was going to be an actually whole party, which I was thinking like, girl, Garcelle doesn't need to live her life around you, okay? Like, like she doesn't have to tell you, okay? And... You know, like as soon as Dorit is, Dorit is like, I don't like to be, you know, surrounded by people. I don't like to be, you know, like she's acting all kind of like weird about it. And uh, when someone kind of like passed next to her, she like screams and jump. And it was very theatrical, you know. So a lot of people are being like, I don't think you're being real. I don't think that this is ex this is actually what is going on. Um, and a lot of people on, on, on social media and are thinking that the read is actually just looking for another problem with Garcelle. Like the read is using Garcelle as her storyline constantly, you know, because it's like the fight about the kids, the fight about Sutton, the fight about everything, you know, it's kind of like the read against Garcelle against Garcelle. And now she's going to try to say like, oh, you didn't think about me when you invited a hundred people to watch your movie, you know? So it's kind of like, okay. Um, and they are also calling her out because at the Magic Mike show in Las Vegas, that it was definitely not an intimate, you know, uh, situation. There was, it was a whole, I mean, this was not a private showing. This was a show that they were part of. And there were a lot of people around that Dorit seems to be having fun and enjoying herself and doing, you know, the most. So people are asking, like, are you really suffering from PTSD or is this PTSD the kind of thing that you can just choose, you know, like, oh, if you are happy and, and it's about like your friends then you don't have PTSD. But if it's about the people that you don't like, then you have PTSD, you know. So it's it's look, I'm not here to really judge it, you know, because, again, I will hope that she's not going there. You know, a lot of people suffer from PTSD. It's a serious, serious, almost like a disease, you know, that a lot of people have to live with uh, for the rest of their life, right? Um, so I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't like to imagine that Dorit is doing something like that. But it seems a little bit weird, you know, and the fact that not even PK is believing the things that you're saying, I'm even like he's being like, you just want attention, you know? It's like, so I don't know. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.